After months of speculation, Mercedes Monet is officially all elite. Her debut opened up Wednesday's AEW Big Business held in her hometown of Boston. She confirmed she had signed with AEW and cut a promo thanking her fans for being behind her. In her promo, she thanked Boston for being there for her, saying that wrestling saved her life and people like Eddie Guerrero had given her hope of one day being able to become a wrestler. She said if she could do it, others can do it as well. Monet told the audience that she needed to be in AEW and wants to be there. She brought up the main event between Rhea and Willow Nightingale and mentioned that she and Willow have unfinished business. She ended the promo confirming that Mercedes Monet is all elite. The end of Big Business saw Julia Hart and Sky Blue attack Willow after she defeated Riho. Mercedes came out and laid out both women, sending them to the back. Willow raised Mercedes' hand and left the ring as the show closed with Mercedes posing. Additionally, some of her closest friends were there to support her at Big Business. WWE wrestlers Bailey, Naomi, and Tamina were all there. They even made a social media post on Wednesday, joking that no one would know if it was them if they wore disguises to the show. Without their joke disguises, Bailey, Naomi, and Tamina could be seen in a skybox during Mercedes' debut at Big Business. Samurai Del So, former WWE wrestler Kalisto, was also at Big Business to support his friend Mercedes. Mercedes Monet and Tony Khan have been meeting with the media today following last night's AEW Big Business. Mercedes spoke with Sports Illustrated about signing with AEW, basically saying, I want to be here, I need to be here, and it's because of the women's division. The women here laid the foundation. They're the reason I want to be in AEW. We're going to make so much magic here. She would later add, this is a global revolution. That's why I'm here. You don't think I can take this around the globe? Well then, let me show you I can. My heart is here. My dreams are here. I love wrestling. I'm a leader and I'm going to lead. In regards to her actual debut, this is what she had to say. All day I was so full of energy. 10 minutes before the show, I was in Gorilla. I could feel the energy in the building. When my music hit, I felt the energy and I knew I was home. And I've honestly been thinking about what I wanted to say for the past year. When I finally signed with AEW, I put even more thought into it. I decided to speak from my heart. That's what I did. And the crowd made it so special for me. Everything started in Boston. I wouldn't be the CEO if it wasn't for my time here. She also spoke about the injury she suffered in May and was told that it was career ending. Saying, I got an MRI in May and the surgeon told me this is career ending. That was the biggest shock in my whole life. I'd never really been injured like this before. My worst injury before this was from Hell in a Cell in 2019 when my pelvis was out of place for eight months. This was so much more painful. People thought it was just a broken ankle. I was non-weight bearing for three months. It was a fight every day. It was devastating when I was told I was never going to come back, but I always knew I would be back. And I told that to my surgeon. Now I'm healthy and my surgeon is calling his mentor saying, look at what happened here. It's incredible. I don't like being told no. I always believed I would be back and now it's true. Tony Khan also spoke with the Boston Globe about Mercedes debut at Big Business saying, I think she's one of the best wrestlers in the world. I always want to get the best wrestlers in AEW, and that describes Mercedes perfectly. Will Ospreay opened up about his decision to sign with AEW during an appearance on Talk is Jericho. Ospreay told Jericho that AEW's offer was way better than WWE's in terms of money and schedule. He also said that being able to remain living in the UK was his top priority, saying, Main thing was, I wanted to be in the UK. I know I'm not going to be exactly comfortable moving to another country. I moved to Japan back in 2019, and as much as I loved it, it just wasn't home. Osprey continued to say that he didn't want to cause his wife and stepson to have to move. Osprey did confirm that he will live in the UK, but fly back and forth. He continued to say, for example, if there is a pay-per-view, there's no point in me going home. So Dynamite Wednesday, I'll stay. Maybe there's a collision on the Saturday. I'll stay for that. Then pay-per-view Sunday, and I'll stay for the next Dynamite, and then I'll go home then. I have no problems with staying in hotels. That's what I do when I was over in Japan. Worst case scenario, I can go over to Kyle and Skye's. They owe me. They lived at my house back in 2021, so I'll just stay with them. Jericho asked Osprey if he'd had discussions with WWE, and Will Osprey responded that he did. 
but AEW's offer was much more appealing to him. Will said, It was night and day, even in difference of what they were offering and what AEW was offering. AEW was way better. Like the scheduling, like everything about AEW was completely the right option for me. It was almost kind of like you can go be a superstar in WWE and famous, but it's not as good of pay and it's not as kind of a schedule. I respect everyone there doing it, but it's just not for me. Osprey also spoke about the eight years he spent with New Japan Pro Wrestling and what he learned during his time there, saying, Going to Japan and not knowing a single bit of the language, it's daunting and it's scary, but I found my footing in there very soon. Up and down, made a bunch of mistakes over there, but what a place to just grow up in and just to learn about who I am as a man and learning etiquette and manners and how to be part of a team. I couldn't ask for a better introduction into the pro wrestling business. They were so nice to me. Kyle O'Reilly's in-ring return has been scheduled. Kyle O'Reilly hasn't wrestled since the June 8, 2022 AEW Dynamite. He underwent neck fusion surgery in September that year. He later suffered a rare post-surgical complication that impacted his recovery. Kyle O'Reilly will face Brian Keith on Saturday's AEW collision in his return bout. The news was announced during Wednesday's Dynamite. He was then interviewed by Renee Paquette, saying that for the last two years, the thought of never wrestling again was the least of his problem, saying that there was a span of time where he couldn't physically pick up his daughter and they were the darkest days of his life, saying, but my neck got better and my arm got better. And now that I'm here and I look at the landscape, the AEW roster, and I just wonder if I can still hang. And in case you missed it, WWE is bringing one of its biggest events to Cleveland this August. It was announced earlier this week that SummerSlam 2024 will emanate from Cleveland Brown Stadium on Saturday, August 3rd. WWE had Logan Paul, who is originally from Cleveland, announce the news on his impulsive podcast. This will be the first time Cleveland has hosted SummerSlam since 1996. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.